Good evening everyone, Chris Saraga for the 365. Um, this time I am at the Feather River Fish Hatchery, or I should say the newly reopened Feather River Fish Hatchery. I do not know when the Feather River Fish Hatchery was reopened, but it is absolutely, as of this right moment, open to the public. I don't know if that will continue or not. I haven't heard anything about it. I just happened to be driving by and found out that the fish hatchery is open. It is a beautiful day here on, in Orville on this wonderful Thursday evening. Uh, I thought I would share some information that I've gotten from you, but uh, gotten for you. But first, first, I think you should just take a look at where I'm at right now. If I can do it without, there we go, without getting myself in the sun too much. There we go. Look at the water it is just amazing i hope that you guys can see the little glints of sun coming off of that it's just absolutely beautiful down here got the waterfall of that back there behind me just amazing it's a wonderful temperature let's get out of the sun there get you a little bit the other direction behind me we got some other people who are enjoying the beautiful sun of the evening anyway so uh, like I always like to do let's get that waterfall back behind me um, like I always like to do with the uh, the river totals first I'm gonna start with the reservoir level it is at 827 feet right now now I read from the DWR that they are planning to drop the lake level as low as 770 feet so that's quite a bit lower than what they have now they're doing that by using the um, Hyatt power plant and if necessary, the river valves. Right now, the Hyatt power plant is at uh, 13,000 cubic feet a second uh, that it's letting out of the reservoir, and there's 11,000 cubic feet a second coming in. So they're still making headway. And as long as they make this continuous head headway over and over, everything should be fine um, with the snow melt that's coming. It's if the snow melt comes in a great big, great big amount that it might be a problem for the dam. That I don't. I personally don't think that that's going to be an issue, but we will see. Uh, they also are doing blasting over there, so like I said yesterday, make sure that you stay away from there. They're doing open, uh, not open, they're doing full blasting, I guess would be the best way, uh, way to say it. Blasting is generally pretty safe nowadays, the way that they do it, but that doesn't mean that we, you and I, can go out there. Uh, we'll just be in the way and we'll get, you know, will make problems for them. So stay away while they're doing their blasting and the construction up there. Uh, they are, they, they definitely have uh, put sirens back up there. Apparently the siren system was broken uh, when the dam overflowed, so they, uh, or they're planning to put sirens or have them there now. Um, that does not mean that they have plans to put those in town. I'm gonna ask around a little bit and I could actually use your help. If there's anybody out there watching this right now, that knows anything about adding sirens to the town, I have a listener who's very interested in that. So it'd be great to be able to answer their question. Um, they're also, they are planning to, what's the best way to say this? They're planning to, uh, they've started the construction, that's a better way to say it. They started the construction as of, I think they said May 19th, they started construction out there. It's gonna be continuing in earnest for the uh, next few months till the November, First is when they have the uh, date that they think that they'll be able to open the spillway back up. Uh, they have some good plans out there, some great people. Uh, one of my friends is actually working out there. I didn't know until just yesterday, so uh, that's excellent news to hear. Just thought I would, you know, show you guys around out here a little bit before I sign off for the night. Let me see if I can get this. I'm going to kind of get myself out of this and just look at this. That is just unbelievable. So that is the waterfall. I'm just right next to the waterfall at the um, at the fish hatchery. So I know it's been getting hot. Today it's not so hot, but um, I know it's been getting hot. So there, you got to remember there's still great places to swim. Like I said the other day, uh, you've got the after bay. You've got up, up all the sites in the dam except the main uh, spillway launch ramp is open, and of course the. Uh, the dam itself is not open, but you have all the sites at the at the lake. Above the lake, you have uh, the after bay, and the river is still, as you can see there, the river is still a little bit too strong to be going in, I would say. 
it's beautiful but too strong to be on it. So here, let me let me just step a little closer to this immense cavern <laughs> and show you over this top there. See? That that is so so not good for me. That would be a very bad day. So and I don't know if I covered it completely yesterday, but I am going to go on vacation. I'm going to go to Barbados. Um, we're leaving on the 14th, and I am going to continue to report while I'm in Barbados. I'm still working out the details. I do not know um, what the communications will be like there. I don't know if I'll be able to post every day. Um, that's what I, my goal is. I will make videos every day, and I want to show you guys what Barbados looks like, and I will be keeping tabs on the situation here. I feel a teeny tiny bit guilty for going because I know that there's gonna be some construction going on while I'm gone and I'll miss two weeks, which I haven't missed a single day of for 106 days. But uh, my son is graduating. It's a wonderful event. My entire family's going with me. It should be great. And I, I wanna share it with all you guys. I wanna show you guys what Barbados looks like and parts of the Caribbean and the cruise that we're going on and everything. So I'll be happy to share that with you. I hope you guys enjoy that part too. Make sure that you uh, tell everybody about it. It'll be a different aspect of reporting for me. It'll be different for you guys to see it. And who knows, maybe you will find your forever home while I'm on vacation. I know that's what I'm looking for. I'm planning on retiring to the Caribbean when I'm all done with this. So anyway, that is what I have for you guys today. As always, it's been a pleasure to bring you guys the news. Uh, I've been uh, I've been put, putting up videos like it's my job because I guess it is now. <laughs> and so make sure that you go back and look at the stuff I've done before. Uh, tomorrow or the next day, I'll post up the playlist that I have that contain all the videos I've ever done. Um, during the weekend, I'm going to post up some uh, the videos that I have of the spillway, both before and after. Posted that up a couple times before, but I think with the spillway being turned off now, it'll be a good time to see that again. I'm doing my best to get back up there this weekend to get you some more video. I don't know if there'll be a drone flight for safety reasons, because I don't want to be flying the drone if they're going to be blasting, obviously. And um, besides that, if you guys have anything else you want to see, make sure you put it in the comments below, over there or over here or anywhere, wherever com comments go. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the 365. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, which by the way is youtube.com backslash Veritech, V-E-R-I-T-E-C-H dash C. I'm sorry, Veritech C, V-E-R-I-T-E-C-H-C, no dash, uh, then you should be able to find that. You can also just search for Veritech C in the, uh, on YouTube overall. It's not hard to make a YouTube, um, a YouTube account, so get, get on there and you'll see, not just me, but we've got some other local, uh, local people reporting, and I always try to link to everybody that I can on all the sites, so anyway, that's what I have for you today. As always, been a pleasure and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Have a great day.